The team is tasked with upgrading old equipment and a hydraulic pump is in need of repair. A new hydraulic pump was purchased and now has to be configured to the bed of the trailer. Basically in a nutshell, we're just replacing an old pump system that we've had for over 22 years. It just, it just got tired. So we're gonna, we replace it with a new system. This new system has a little bit more power, a lot more volume of water and material and mud can be pulled through it. And the new system that's being replaced is, um, it's obviously a different color, but it should work the same. <laughs> this, as you can see, this thing has just got years and years of gunk and old diesel fluid and any kind of other uh, material or uh, vegetable oil that we ran through it on certain jobs we had to put a uh, certain instead of using hydraulic oil we had to use a uh, vegetable oil for environmental purposes but anyways that's just years of gummed up stuff we're looking forward to getting this thing rebuilt and putting on a third uh, trailer set up this thing is 22 23 20 actually 20 about 24 years old yeah so but it still works yeah, it still works. It works like a champ, but since it's off, it's time to give it some love. Not just your basic lipstick on a pig. It's going to get rebuilt. <laughs> Right now, what the guys are doing is, is we're basically tearing down the old trailer so that uh, we have access uh, to the pump so we can get everything off of it. Um, so basically just cleaning up the trailer at this point. Um, we ended up getting a sky track uh, to come in to lift that pump off the trailer. The pump itself, it weighs around 4,000 pounds. Um, so that's why we needed uh, the piece of equipment to get that thing off of there. Um, what those guys, what they're messing with right now are the hydraulic hoses. Um, those hydraulic hoses are to run the motor that actually goes in the water, the actual pump that sucks up the material. So the big motor that, that you see, that big blue thing, that is basically just a big diesel motor that runs a hydraulic pump, which sends hydraulic fluid down to the pump that's in the water spins it which creates the suction to suck up the mud um, so this is us kind of looking it over how, how we're going to get this hose reel off first we need to get it out of the way so that we have room to get that bigger pump off and yeah that's just you know basically putting it away and then uh, we just need to kind of look at it uh, since the pump does weigh 4,000 pounds and it's kind of awkward in the air we all you know we're trying to everybody get on the same page um, you know just for safety reasons uh, to get that pump off the trailer And then the next thing, what, what we're really what we're really thinking about is the new pump that's going on there. Uh, the footprint for the new pump is quite a bit bigger than the old pump. So we're going to be out at this trailer with a measuring tape, kind of looking at it, seeing how we want to put it on there. We have to think about the weight of that pump and the way it sets on the trailer so that the, the trailer rides good. We're not overloading one side or another. So basically just measuring everything out, taking it into account where that hose reel is going to go um, so that we can get that pump in a good location on the trailer and have it to where it's still functional for everything else that we need to use the trailer for. Yeah, and that's that's the new pump. So that's that's the big discussion that's going on now is is where we're going to put the pump. And really, what we want to do is we want to get that pump centered over the axles of the trailer. Um, you can see where we're lifting that pump. That is the center lifting point of that pump. So the weight is distributed on either side of that. So we really want that bar right in between the two tires. So we're center of the axle. And this is Kyle, he's got to come out. We, we had to change that uh, dive hose where it was hanging there. We had to make some, we're gonna to have to cut that off and make some modifications to it um, so that everything fits. And those, those blue uh, squares that are putting up there, those are called welding tarps. Um, it basically it, it helps keep the the flying sparks or anything from uh, starting a fire really and you can weld behind them and it, and it stops the weld glare so if, if somebody were in the shop while we were welding you're, you're kind of covering up your welding area since welding can damage uh, a person's eyes if they're not wearing a welding hood 
Is this uh, system is a, it's a bigger system. It's a hundred horsepower turbo diesel system, so it'll move a lot of water and a lot of mud. Um, matter of fact, the guys will probably have it on 50% of throttle, maybe maybe 75% of throttle most of the time. 100% uh, of the throttle, it's uh, it's pretty violent holding on the end of that nozzle. Um, um, but uh, they're looking forward to running it for sure. And as you can see, it's nice and shiny for now, and we're excited about the shininess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's just a new thing to us. It's a new toy, so everybody's going to love to. Everybody's going to want to use the new toy. And as you can see, one of the most important things that that we did as soon as it showed up, we had to put our sticker on. Oh. <laughs> as soon as it showed up, uh, we put our sticker on. But uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, this this bunch here that does these pumps, they seem like good people, good people to work with. You know, I don't know everything that they do, but a lot of these systems primarily are used for moving water from different bodies of water or, or lagoons or um, uh, ponds or something of that nature They because they move a ton of water. We just kind of turn their system into removing mud and material and rocks and sediment and, and uh, I mean, we've actually found pieces of uh, rebar in our pumps. We found a crescent wrench bent that's gone through the pump. So yeah, they're, they're pretty strong pumps. A lot of the, uh, there's a lot of other uh, um, uh, companies that, that attempt to compete with us and they have you know, kind of smaller systems that are, that are nothing like this. Uh, you know, this is basically kind of a big industrial technology dummy down uh, for a, a small market. Now that we got the pump on there, we, we no longer need the sky track. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that trailer forward and back it up into the shop so we can uh, finish the rest of our work on it. And Lee's, <laughs> Lee's having some trouble backing it up, <laughs> but he, he's finally got it in there. That fucking, it's only one inch, right? Yeah. Well, as long as we can get the fitting. After the trailer is settled in place into the warehouse, with a unit like this, it's already pre-built, so the system is actually built for a heavier industrial application. So the team has to figure out ways of sizing it down and fitting it in the configuration of a simple trailer. It's hard to configure something that is designed to be built for something else. With the engineering skills of Lee and Gary, they're going to retrofit this particular unit. Uh, we still have to take the old hoses off. We're going to uh, spool all of them out, put all of them up. We're going to set it off to the side because that, that uses a different type of uh, oil substance. And the stuff that we're using is, uh, is a biodegradable hydraulic fluid. So we're flushing all the uh, Dino hydraulic fluid, which is a petroleum product. So we're flushing all of that out of the system, replacing it with our clarity. Then once we go ahead and get the clarity in there, we get the new lines on the, the reel, we'll go ahead and flush it, clean out the system of the old, old fluid, give it one clip, quick flush. We'll go ahead and seal the system, top it back off, and then we'll test run it. And after the test run, they're pretty much ready to run. This one right, well, we've actually still got a little clarity in here, so. The reel here, it's actually gonna be set up on the other side there. We're gonna be facing that other direction. So my other, my other hose is coming off the reel. I have to replumb across here to come through here, come up underneath here. I have to hook up the supply. Now my return is facing directly off of the, uh, off the deck. So in order for me to make that bend with that large of a hose, it's gonna make a big belly. So I've actually got to refit, I've got to retrofit that in the other direction. So this fitting here. Yeah. I've got to refit that in the other direction so I can keep it tight and inside of the machine. Because otherwise, that one inch hose is going to try to belly outside of here. I mean, we could possibly 45 that back this way and maybe get enough relief to where it would work, but I'd rather actually have it self contained back this way. I'm going to break your grinder out and go ahead and clean all that up and get it ready to remount. We'll have to do the same thing with the upright here, and then we'll need to. Uh, Go ahead and attach that other side. Did we bring all the tools in? Oh, they're still on there. What you need to do is just make it two by two, slightly wider, so it'll actually just slide over it. But I was thinking, well, a little plate in here. You might want to go ahead and just go ahead and scab that back, clean it up, go ahead and scab it back on, weld it up, go ahead and grind that off, get it, because Gary said that he wants to offset it just a bit. Back yes. Here. So you'll have to actually notch your two by two probably over here. So that way it'll actually recess into it. Work. 
refitting the hose rack for the umbilical dive hose that, that was cut off the trailer earlier. Kyle and Tanner are looking it over. They're going to have to put that in a different position and provide more room for the new pump. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe and give us a thumbs up on a like. American Underwater Services, aquatic engineering done right.